food brings us together. There's actually two places in South Africa that I can recommend for for nice um, stave pub, mm -hmm. um, but still smooth without lumps. That is at Central Park Station in Johannesburg. There's this beautiful little market where a lot of mamas sell salads, fried chicken and amazing pub. And then here at Fatima's. It's smooth and it goes straight from the pot onto the plate into the stomach. Pup can't rest. Like my mother, she would buy like white toast or whatever and, and my granny, she would smell on it. She's like, I'm not gonna eat this, this is not bread. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. She would have her sourdough, traditional. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear about Somalia? War, famine. I'm like, no, cinnamon, cardamom, mm. you know, delicious tea. It's, they make an instant coffee, basically, naturally, by dehydrating coffee and mixing it with dried ginger. Sure. It's divine, you know, it's so mystic. So we actually um, get to know three different styles of making coffee, which are completely and utterly different from the ways of making coffee that we are used to. Our chefs are a bit like warriors because they managed to carve out affordable trading space and preserve their food culture in one of the most rapidly gentrifying cities in the world. What is the weirdest thing you've ever tasted? Uh, probably okra. It's, it's, it's a vegetable so it's very very gooey like a slime and it's a bit like snot and when you when you drink it or when you when you eat it you can really feel that it doesn't want to go down you know it's like it's still sitting there yeah that is probably um, I haven't had mopani once oh, I don't think I ever will 